Welcome back to the Biathlon Range. Uh, another drill in the series of basics that we're going to be uh, working on. So far we've worked on breathing and we've worked on trigger control. Today we're going to work on getting good sight alignment, which looks something like this. It should be a, a file or something you can download to take a look at this. So the purpose of this drill is really to get a good mental image of what good sight alignment looks like and when is the time to squeeze the trigger. So from there, let's go start to do the drill. There is an image of good sight alignment. This represents the rear sight. These front two rings represent the front target and the small center represents the uh, target. What we wanna do is have all of those lined up and you really wanna get that visual image ingrained in your brain. So when you are shooting, once you see that, that's time to squeeze the trigger. So one of the ways we can do that is to do some visual imaging. And so you're actually gonna stare at that and help to burn that essentially in your brain and stare at what that picture looks like. This may seem simple and like, how is this gonna help my shooting? Shooting is just a function of your eye giving a signal to your brain and your brain telling your finger to pull the trigger to squeeze it gently get to know what that picture looks like. And that's what we're gonna work on today at the shooting range. The right here, what we have is what should represent a good uh, alignment of the targets. And I'm gonna actually pull this apart so we can see what it is. We've got three elements of the target, and there's actually four. This represents the target right there. So what we want to do is make sure that target is in the center of the front target. That is not good for the prone. It will still hit a standing target. We want that centered. Want that centered. This represents our rear sight. We want to have that centered on there. What you'll see when a lot of people start shooting, they may think they're centered in the target and they're ready to pull the trigger. That is not good sight alignment. This is not good sight alignment. We want perfect circles. That represents good sight alignment. We want to make sure that center target, the target is in the uh, center sight, the front sight, I should say, and that the front sight is perfectly centered in the rear sight. So that's what we're looking for, and that's when it's time to pull the trigger. We have our biathlete that's gonna show us how to do the drill. So what we'll be doing is working on our breathing. You can get down in the prone position. And we're gonna do like we did before, the two deep breaths, but at the bottom of the second breath, uh, what our biathlete is going to do is essentially hold for five to 10 seconds on that good sight alignment. So here's what she's gonna be looking for, a good sight alignment, and then she's going to be gently squeezing that trigger, but it's an extended focus on that sight alignment and then squeeze the trigger. So go ahead and take your five shots with an extended hold on this good sight alignment. So two deep breaths, in and out. Now we're gonna have an extended hold at this time on that side alignment. Hold it steady, get good at side alignment. Really, really focusing at this time on that side alignment. You cannot let other distractions, and there will be insects, there will be bugs, there will be other racers next to you. This is really learning to focus on the side alignment. Focus. Great. This is a different variation of the side alignment drill. What we have our biathlete doing is holding for five minutes in the standing position. And you can do this in the prone position or the standing position. And it does get very hard to try and hold in the standing position for five minutes and hold in alignment. Now you have to breathe for five minutes, but you're constantly coming in and out and trying to develop your muscles to essentially hold the rifle on that good side alignment. So she's got about three or three minutes to go yet. So we'll stop back and see how she's doing at the end. 
All right, we're coming to the end of a five minute period. I'm sure those muscles are getting tired. Three, two, one, fire. There we go, there was a dry fire. It's a great drill and you can do that at home. You can do it at the range. You can do it uh, in between, watch a TV show while you're doing this. Just t find time to get that good sight alignment. If you're not gonna get good sight alignment, you're not gonna hit those targets.